Hello, everybody, and this is Brian Off Course, and we are back in the long dark in the camp office yet again, and we are super tired. So, we are going to go sleep. We have a full belly, we have plenty of water. We pretty much at this point just need. Nope. There we go. We pretty much at this point just need daylight. So. Um, if we get full eight hours, we'll still have 1200 calories left. We'll probably be super cold or super, uh, thirsty though, but we have water, so. Two days, 13 hours and 43 minutes. Yeah, so needless to say, I'm quite thirsty. Wow. I still have water left. That's so good. Only 0.15 liters, though. It is still dark out, though. Look at that. Ugh. And there's a storm outside. I hear it. I hear it going. Okay. Well, um... Let's see, what are some things we can do? We can get both of these curtains and that curtain. I wonder if I can do that in the dark. I should be able to, yeah. So something to do in the dark while you're waiting for the sun to come up. And isn't that just so interesting? <laughs> Looking at this dark screen right now. <laughs> uh, you would think actually it would be foolish to take down these curtains because Closing the curtains would actually keep some heat in. So it wouldn't be quite so dark. So. You would think. But, whatever. Because it would make it more, much more uh, warm in here. Even if they were thin curtains, I mean, they would help some, right? What about, I can't actually, oh, I can't get close because of that thing. I was about to say, what about this stuff on the side? It just says it's a filing cabinet still. Eh, it's kind of boring. There are no more curtains for me to do around here. No. And I can't do this box. I can do this chair, though, and then these boxes over here. Oh, no, I can't do these boxes. Okay. Well, we're going to turn this out again because we have to save the fuel. And we'll just cut up this. Oh. Well, dang it. I don't know why I have to do it twice. But I have to do it twice. There we go. Well, the sun should be coming up soon, although there's a storm raging out there, I hear. Yeah, no, not, the, not that one. I want that. Um, let's take... Let's take one. There we go. Because I already have... Yeah, there we go. But I don't have any food, no. I need to find that... Um, I need to find a can opener so I stop. I don't keep wasting food. I wanted to read the note on the door. Okay, let's put away that. Okay. No, no, no. Nine. We can do nine. There we go. I already have a fishing tackle. I don't really need food at the moment. I don't need this cured leather. It's all kinds of stuff I don't need. Look at all this stuff. I need more storage. I wonder if you can just throw stuff on the ground. I'm kind of hesitant about doing that because I'm afraid I won't get it back. If it's not in, a, in some kind of container. Okay. 
And I don't have that many containers down here. Not really. Not really, really. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Snare. I, oh, cured gut. You have to kill something to get the cured gut. If I had cured gut, I could get this. But it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, you might be able to make the bow, but you can't make the arrows because you have to have a forge. And where do I find a forge? Or a heavy hammer, for that matter. Uh, what? <laughs> Is the location to craft anywhere? So, yeah. Oh, you need three of these to make the dressing. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay, well, I still need to drop off this stuff. I still have too much stuff. So. I guess I can put some away in these things. Yeah. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Don't have any extra clothes. I've got my water. Um, I don't need to carry a thing of charcoal. I don't need the cloth. Or the cured leather. There we go. Well, let's go see what the what it's like outside, although I'm hungry already. It's not really going to add much, is it? No, not really. Okay, let's see what it's like outside. It's still quite dark, actually. That's no good. I mean, yes, I can see with the lantern, but not really that well. Although... I should be able to see well enough to gather some more cattails. Because there are some. Yeah. Like that. I wonder if making a lot of noise, because you do... I mean, it does change the sound when you're going along. Um, I mean, you've heard it with the, you start to make crunchier, crunchier noises, or more jingly noises, the more stuff you're carrying. See, like, why can't I use the hatchet to cut up this thing? But... Um, there should be a dead uh, elk, deer, some kind of hoofed herbivore at the end of the lake, and I should be able to use the hatchet, one would think, to, I don't know, get some stuff from it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I love how quiet it is. It's pretty dark. It's not too dark, though, I suppose. Yeah. Pot belly stove. So I'm guessing the best way to do the fishing. Again, it's a, you're looking at a black screen again, I'm sure. But I want to save my fuel. Oh, there's a wolf on the ice. I can barely see him in the... There's two wolves on the ice. Well, that doesn't help me. I wanted to go get the... deer carcass.
Well, dang it. Well, I guess we'll go back to the cabin for now. I know. It's super cold out here, especially at night. It's so dark and quiet. It's so dark. Ugh. It's so hard to, I mean, I want to go to sleep and then wake up and it'd be daytime, but of course, you know, if the sun goes down at five o'clock at night, right? And you even sleep for eight hours from then, then it's gonna be, um, it's not gonna be light when you get up. It's gonna be, even, it's still gonna be dark like it is now. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Go inside, get out of the cold. There we go. Yes, the camp office. Okay. Um. Oh. So I could drop the fish as a decoy. Okay. So the, maybe the wolves would eat the fish instead of coming after me. All right. Okay, cool. I gotcha. Again, it, it, I have to do it twice for some reason. How do I, can I, how do you repair? Let's see. Let's see if I can see this. Actions. Repair. Requires scrap metal. And it requires simple tools. Okay. Right. And I don't have simple tools. I do have scrap metal, though. So we're good to go with that. I guess I could guess maybe what I should do we're gonna we're gonna have to be bold we're gonna have to be a little bit brave um, it's so far away though <laughs> let's take five sticks and let's put you out And let's try and start the stove. And what we're looking to do is get a torch. Because maybe if we take a torch out across the ice, it'll scare off the wolves. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe it'll... You know, yeah, maybe it'll just scare off the wolves. I mean, I'm having to use a match here, and I'm guessing at least one stick to get this fire going. There we go. I had to use more than one stick, but now I have a torch. Okay, well, let's see what happens. We are warming up. Of course, this might be the end of us, our first game right here. So, who knows? <laughs> but let's try. That's a bit more light, so that's good. At least I can see a bit better. So I'll be able to see when the wolves come to eat me. That's good. I 
I know I can throw the stick, but I'm not thinking that's actually going to be very useful to me or helpful. So, I know. I'm getting all cold. Look at me. I'm getting super cold. I know, I know. Hopefully it's a bit lighter for you guys so you can see as well. There's one wolf. And I see I don't remember where the body is either. That's a slight problem. I don't know if it's to the left or to the right. There's one wolf. I don't see another wolf at the moment. Oh, he's found me. Okay, well the fire didn't really seem to do anything to him. He did seem to slow down some, but dropping the fish was good. Of course, now if there's another one out here, like over there, and it gets close enough to me. Oh, now he's hanging out near that fishing shack. These wolves are not going to let me have it easy. Without more bait, I'm not quite sure what I can do. I mean, I don't think throwing a stick is going to do me any good. <laughs> or throwing a rock, I mean. But I need to get inside to get out of the cold. There we go. There we go. And I need some food, and all I have is cattail stalks. Which is some food, but it's not really a lot of food now, is it? No, no it's not. I should have gotten some food before I left the house. Yes. So a shelf is going to give me... Wow, it's going to use up 300 calories. I don't think we want to do that. Twenty-eight calories for one wood. Yeah. What about this table? Yeah, six. At least we can see. There we go. That's not too bad. Yeah, now the sun's out proper like we can actually we can properly see, but how much weight do I have now? Oh, 13, that's not too bad. I had to get rid of my fish though. My real problem is the cold, as usual. So we got some more wood. Now it's misty, however, that's gonna. You know, I wonder if pelting a... Oh, Lord, there he is. Look at him. I see him over there. I wonder if pelting a wolf with a rock does any good whatsoever. I know, I'm cold. I know. Well, there doesn't seem to be a wolf around here, so that's good. Although, that looks like a bear. I think that's a bear. Because it looks big. And it's moving. Yeah. Yep. I'm betting that's a big old bear.
Sure enough. I'm pretty sure I've been in this cabin, but let's go inside anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, apparently I have not been in this cabin. Ooh, a ski jacket! Oh, high windproof. See, it's got the axe on it. Does that mean it's... Right, knowledge I'll gain later. We can't do anything about the hacksaw. So. Paper again. Well, there's not that much in here, unfortunately. Or do the skill books only have, you know, I mean, they'll say that they're skill books. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a shelf. Who? Well, I'll take some antiseptic. Well, dream catcher. I don't see anything on the floor except for that papers and stuff. But I don't really need paper. Ooh. That's real good. Twelve matches. That is fantastic. That's why you gotta you gotta you you really gotta look around in the long dark. Yeah, I'll take a thing of dog food for sure. Excuse me. We all have plenty of wood out here to break down. Yeah, that's for sure. It's not a lack of it's not a lack of wood. Actually, it's a lack of a reliable source of food. That's the thing, because you're trading off the wood, wood gathering for the calories, right? So now I wonder. <laughs> well. I don't see any tracks in the snow in the immediate area. Oh. There he is. Is he coming towards me or going away, though? I think he's coming towards. And there's a wolf over there. Oh, my word. I'm pretty sure we don't want to mess with a bear. Because while you might be able to pelt a wolf with a rock to make it go away, I don't think hitting a bear is going to do any good whatsoever. I'm pretty sure the bear is just not going to care that you hit him with a rock. So... I wonder if I can get up this slope. Or if it's too steep. I think it's too steep. It's too steep. Well, that's not good. Well, that shack has a door. But... I don't know. I don't know if it would be enough to protect you from the... Actually, that... I think he's looking at me. <laughs> Is he looking at me? Uh, I guess that wolf is far enough away. So as far as I know, there's only crows. Deer. Rabbits. Wolves. And bears. In this game, so... Hello, deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so funny. I already found that dead body. I, I appreciate it, crows, but... I'm getting super cold. So I need to get back inside again. And get some food. I still don't have a can opener, though. 
No luck with the can opener. I actually need to just fight one of these wolves. Not fight it, but see if I can scare it off with a rock. Because right now they're keeping me from going exploring new areas to get new stuff. So I think I need to test whether or not I can what happens if I use a if I use a rock. I mean it might not do me any good at all, but there's only one way of knowing. So And I definitely need to find better gear. That's for sure. Maybe some snow pants. Good thick winter coat. <laughs> some hiking boots. Oh, there's another deer. Okay, let's get inside the warmth. There we go. Okay, now what do I have to unload? Not that much, actually. What I do need, though, is I need to eat. So what's the worst? That stuff. I know. Yeah, I'm super low on food. Oh, because I have a hatchet, I open it properly now? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Okay. Good. At least I won't be thirsty. Okay, okay. There we go. That's not it's not the greatest in the world, but it's not too bad. We're not doing too bad. Uh, we definitely need to put away these matches. Yeah. There we go. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. And we need to see about... Yeah, that's better. And it's at 93%. And I have nothing I can wear there. Yeah. Well, that's good. Warmth bonus plus nine. And I can still move pretty good. So. I need to fix my socks, though. Yeah, and also my, uh, my cotton toque. Which, again, I need daylight. Yeah. To do. I'm betting I won't be able to put anything in here. Yeah, it's full. <laughs> That's kind of what I figured. <laughs> well, we're warm enough as is. It's too bad you can't, um, you have to actively be there with it. Because, for instance, I mean, I guess that's just the mechanic of the game, but for instance, it would be great if I could start at the wood stove and have water melting while I go off and repair my stuff now with the repair kit, but that is not the way it goes. And then, where did I... Yeah, well, three cloth, that should be enough. I have more than that, but that's alright. Not just to do what we're doing here, this should be fine. Repair... Oh, you can use fishing tackle. Okay. We're going to use the repair kit. Hey, hey, decent cotton toque. Yes, much better. And this. We're going to repair these as well. Yeah, just 15 minutes. I wonder if there's a way to repair. Ah. 100%. Can you repair this? Can, but I don't really... I don't really need it. Yeah. 
Now, can you, like I said, let's see, can you repair that? You cannot repair this, just gets used up. Right. Okay. Well, that's disappointing, but... There we go. Put away that other top. Of course, I'm doing all this repairing and everything, and it might be completely wasted since I might get eaten by a wolf here in a few minutes, so... <laughs> Uh, but how are we doing so far? Ten and four. Uh, we're not doing too bad with the cold. It's not perfect, but it's not too bad. Can I put away this torch? No, there's no space for it. Okay. Ooh, my hatchet's getting a bit low as well. Although I know I can do something about the hatchet as well. What time of day is it? Yeah, it's the middle of the day. Because I have a whetstone, right? So I should be able to sharpen. Wow, it's only going to do it by 3%. Jeez. Right. Now it's at 68. Oh, wait, my sharpening skill increased to 3? Is that what it said? Um, what? I thought it said something had increased. Hmm. Anyway, so how much of that did I use up? 5% to get 3%. <laughs> it's not a real good trade-off, actually. Well, you know what? This will be a good test. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop you. Yeah, and see if you're still here. Okay, uh, I need food. I should take some food. I should eat some food and take some food. Why am I up here? There's no food up here. Foolish. Let's go ahead and just eat that. I'm imagining it uses up the um, hatchet some when you when you open the food with it. So, I know this stuff doesn't go in here, but I need to just thin out my pocket so I can actually pick up stuff. Okay. I know this episode is running long, but it's because it's daylight and we want to see what we can do. We're going to go see if we can go over here towards this mine like I wanted to do. And if need be, pelt a wolf in the face with a rock. My hand looks really cold. It's interesting that it shows my... My... my. It doesn't really, it doesn't really show the clothing properly, does it? Not really. Because I shouldn't have a white hand. I'm wearing mittens. But I'm guessing no matter what you wear, you probably always have a white hand. <laughs> it doesn't change it every single time you change clothes, so to reflect that you have different clothes on clothing on now. Well, none over there. None over here. It is it's like noon. The sun is at its zenith. And I do believe I see a wolf up ahead. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Could just be the track. I 
And I guess the idea is behind the thing is you're not really supposed to fight the animals. Right? I mean, that, you you know, I guess you, you, obviously you can make a bow. And considering I found rifle ammunition, I'm assuming that, you know, you can find a rifle as well. So you're really supposed to more hunt the animals than anything else. But if a wolf is char charging at me and I have a hatchet, I yeah, would certainly try and use, try to use the hatchet to get the wolf. As opposed to, you know, trying to use a stick. <laughs> Which isn't going to do me any good. Look at all that log, all those logs. All that lumber. Ooh, there's a knife. Thank you, buddy. Yes. Nothing there. Nope, still just, I, I can't even use the knife. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Crows. I, I know he's there. What do we have here? Another pry bar. We don't really need another pry bar. Clinky now. Yeah, I know. I got him already. Thanks. Um, yeah, let's... Oh. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. I didn't know that was going to happen. So there we go. Oh. Oh, Lord. Chapa. So now we went this way. Oh. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, whatever happened really messed everything up. Look at this place. It's good just to stop every once in a while. Have a look. Have a listen. That is a stump, not a wolf. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I'm not too bad, actually, with the cold. I think there's a storm coming, though. No. Yeah. I was hoping to get over here and check whatever this is, though. It looks like some kind of vehicle or something. Did I just hear... I thought I just heard a... Pig? A boar? Which you gotta be careful with boars too, actually. They uh they can they can do some damage. over there. I'm doing all right though. We're doing okay. Except for being super tired. I guess I have no idea how long it took to get from Mystery Lake to this area, so...
Hopefully there's nothing around here, though. Although, I would imagine I would have already aggroed it if I had. If there was something around here. Empty backpack. That's great. Can you, um... No. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I want to... I was wondering if it was going to do the... You have to have a hacksaw to get this kind of thing. Oh, well, look at that. Poacher's camp. Windbreaker, coal. And that I want, yes. Definitely want the matches. I don't need the cap. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh no, I'm already wearing two, two tugs. Some more coal, some more reclaimed wood. Is it, this is a fire barrel. More scrap metal. More coal. How exactly is this a poacher's camp? Ah, that's what I saw before. I was wondering if it was some kind of mining thing, but it's the underside of a ripped up tree. Gotcha. More firewood. Is that bear? Search it. Yeah, I've got too much stuff. I knew it. I knew I was going to get too weighed down. Okay, um... And then what else I can do? I can eat something. Got the hacksaw and the knife. My current problem now is can I get home without being eaten by something? I saw the bear moving in this direction. I don't know where he is now. Where'd he go? I'm betting being weighed down e being weighed down makes me tired even faster. I don't know what happened to that bear. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go. So yeah, I thought that thing over there, those brown things, were the um I don't know, some kind of boulder or something. It's the underside of a tree. Okay, I've gotta drop something. I've got too much stuff. the heck was that? Oh, there's that bear. Yeah, I'll go away, Mr. Bear. You can have was ever there. I just want to go this way. I need to get rid of some stuff. I got too much stuff.
know if I come across a wolf now. <laughs> it's not gonna be so good. Oh, I'm so tired. Hopefully I'll be able to get back to the camp. I wonder if I'll actually like... Okay, maybe I should take one stone. How's that? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get back. Ooh. I don't know. It's cool that we got the hacksaw and all, but... I, I lose so much energy. I get so tired. So quickly. Not that for much further. Come on, we can make it. We got a hacksaw now. We got the knife. I still need a carcass though. I need an animal carcass. Cause I don't think I'm going to be able to kill like a... Well, anything. I need an animal carcass so I can get the gut. The cured gut. So I can make a snare. So I can start killing rabbits. Get more cured guts. My temperature's starting to finally go down. That's good though, that new coat is really working out well for me. I don't... I'm not seeing any wolves... at the moment. Hopefully there are none too near the camp office. So we can actually get there. It's cool that I've got the hacksaw now, but I wonder what I can really use it for. I mean, I know I can break stuff down, but is that just going to give me more scrap metal? Well, that's re reassuring. I see a deer near the camp office, so I imagine that must mean that there's no wolves around, because if there were, they would be chasing the deer. The deer is running, running, running. I wonder if, um, because I know you can make clothes, I wonder if, like, the the made clothes are I A either more durable or B warmer. Yeah. Anyway, let's get inside. Oh, we made it, we made it, we made it. Ha ha ha. Save that game. Now is my torch still here on the ground? It is. Okay, well apparently I can just drop stuff then. Okay, well that's good to know. Well, we're going to have to stop there, you guys, because we've used up so much time. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a comment. Both help me out very much. And don't forget to subscribe if you like to know about when I put out new videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.